Hey y'all, what's up y'all? Eric Jensen back with y'all again with another Saints Row walkthrough. On this part, we're doing a demolition derby activity. And we just, just finna do it how we do it, you know? Build our reputation up so we can start doing some Saints Row missions and shit. Turn the music down a little bit. Y'all already know. Not all the way though, but we're gonna have it up a good amount. So the object is to survive, damage all the cars or a good amount of them. Alright, that was easy. And once you get farther into like the activity, you can upgrade your, you know, car and stuff. All right, level two finish, $250 cash, and 880 respect. Level three completed, five hundred dollars cash, reputation eight hundred nine, no nine hundred ninety. I got a clothing bonus for that too. I'm going to save my progress. They're killing you motherfuckers, man. The competition is not that scarce. I got a thousand dollars, level hundred respect. We're gonna keep it going. Three, two, one. And I think on this one, this activity besides the Saints Row 2 one, it automatically upgrade my car and stuff, so I can't show y'all like the upgrades and shit unless I was playing Saints Row 2. I'm just killing these motherfuckers. I'm the Punisher. I'm going to say this. They almost flipped me over there. Got two G's for that. My reputation just going up, man. I like this. Three. Gonna save it again. Do not, re do not reload your game, Eric.
You bitch. Shit, I almost messed up that time. They kept killing each other. Alright, this is the last Three, one right here. Two, one, go! Yeah! Oh, shit. Bitch, I flew past that motherfucker, man. Demolition Derby level three. No, level eight. Sorry about that shit. Got my numbers wrong. Level eight completed. $5,000 cash and 1540 respect clothing bonus. Got it on that too. Unlock the ruckus. Demolition Derby car and shit. Which I will not use. Congratulations, you complete this last activity. The last level of this activity at this location, playing this instance of the activity will earn you money with no respect. Yep, finish that. Uh, so if I go back to my, you know, you know, garage and shit, the cars will be there and stuff. So yeah, man, we finished that. Ooh. I wasn't expecting to find this motherfucker out here. I'm finna upgrade the shit out there. Usually you gotta you gotta wait till like till you like in the game to get a car like this. But sometimes you will find crazy cars like this. You will see hobo motherfuckers driving cars like this. You will see crazy people driving cars like this. Like on Saints Row Two and shit. That shit be crazy as hell. Now we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna go with that candy paint. And you already know we're going with that Third Street Saints Royal Purple. Yeah, we're gonna go with that one. That's a little bit. Put some nitrous on this bitch. Rims and spinners. A rhyme spinners, a rhyme spinners, they don't stop. Should we go with white gold or just regular gold rims? We'll go with the gold ones. Gold matches everything, so you know. I thought I couldn't play the game for a while. A couple days ago, my Xbox got the red eye death and shit. I was mad as hell. I just fixed it. So I'm gonna end up probably giving me another one and shit so I can keep playing and stuff. So I just don't hope nothing else happens to it. I'm gonna take my car back to the crib. be no good if I had a car like this in real life. But really, if I had it amount of money, I can't see myself buying shit like that. Cause like you can do you can do much more with like that amount of money and shit. Like these niggas be buying exotic cars and stuff. Then they be in beef and shit. These motherfuckers don't even be bulletproof in the car and shit. Don't be having no guns, be talking all the gangs and shit, they videos and shit. You know, a lot of these dudes out here in the rap game are perpetrators and shit. They don't really value their money and shit most of the time. Not to say all of them do that, but, you know, a good majority of these motherfuckers don't really think about, you know, their finances and stuff. Especially when they making a good amount of money and shit. Even though they getting buck fucked in 360 deals and stuff, but you can't tell hard-headed niggas nothing, you know.
These hoes be out all day, man. Jesus Christ. It's crazy. It's crazy that you can't get hookers on here and fuck them and shit. It's just crazy. But on Grand Theft Auto, you can fuck hookers and stuff. Oh, big Bertha, damn. Ass poking out of everything. You can't even partake in um, getting some booty on here. On Saints Row 2, you can. Oh, bitch. I'm surprised they ain't crash this shit. Right now. These the damn cars and shit. Tell you the truth, I really don't want these motherfuckers. I don't want this needle, can't customize it. So these are my three cars right here. I got the Shogun. The Nordberg and the I don't even know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna just call it the form. Now we're gonna say the game again. And if video almost 13 minutes, shit. Change my clothes. It's probably gonna be the last video for me for today. Uh I'll probably do some more tomorrow if I have a chance. Just gonna change my homie clothes and shit. Yeah, this is going to be the end of the video. Tell me what y'all think about the series, how it's going further and stuff. Um, Next episode, I will be doing the Los Carnales, you know, Stronghold and shit, the Take Back the Road District. You know, got to clear out, you know, the other games and shit. Vice Kings, you know, Red Side Rollers and, you know, the Los Carnales and shit. So, be on the lookout for that either tomorrow or probably next week once I get a chance and shit when I get off work and stuff. So, like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out, y'all.